here and I know I've showed you my crust before, but I'm gonna quickly show you how to actually put a pizza together. So come on along and lean and green with me. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elizabeth and I am living in the light by documenting my weight loss journey using Optivia's five in one program. As part of the Optivia program, you eat five fuelings, which come to you in your monthly Optivia box, five fuelings a day, and you eat one lean and green meal that you make yourself. And that consists of five to seven ounces of lean protein, along with three servings of lower carbohydrate vegetables. You can have up to three condiments, which I'll discuss. And some proteins do require a healthy fat, but what I'm having today does not. So this is a super easy recipe. Before I show you how to put this together though, please just scroll down, click that thumbs up button, give me some love, let me know you like videos like this. And if you have not subscribed before, please hit that subscribe button. My journey on Optivia so far has been very successful. I have lost 88 pounds so far. I am on week 32 of the program. So depending on what video will you watch, when you watch it, some of my videos, I weighed more than I do now, and maybe someday, definitely someday, you will watch videos where I weigh less than I do now. This is all just part of the journey. So what I need is, first of all, one of my cauliflower crusts. Now I will put a link in the description box down below to my pizza crust recipe, where I actually show you three different pizza crusts. But my favorite one just uses raw rice cauliflower, one cup of raw rice cauliflower and three tablespoons of liquid egg substitute, egg whites, either one of those are the exact same thing, egg beaters, uh, and you mix those together, you pat it out into a circle, you bake it at 425 for 22 minutes on one side, flip it over and bake it for another five to six minutes, make sure you spray the parchment, or use a cell pad or silicone sheet. So that's how you do the crust. I make multiple crusts. I usually do two on a pan at a time. And I may make a couple dozen on a Saturday and stick them in the freezer. And then I have them for a considerable amount of time. So I still have some in the freezer. And that's what I did was I pulled one out, just let it thaw. I have my oven preheating to 425. That's what I'm gonna bake my pizza out. So my crust is two greens, and one condiment right now. My other green that I'm going to use is, I'm going to use some sauteed mushrooms. This is two and three quarter ounces of sauteed mushrooms. This equals one green. So all together, there are my three greens. Two here, one here. I am going to use, I've got one condiment. My next condiment is going to be two tablespoons of a homemade, uh, tomato sauce. I will leave the link for that as well because I show how to make that. Please do not buy marinara sauce. None of them are approved by Optivia. It's so easy and a whole lot less expensive to make your own and you know that you've got quality ingredients. So two tablespoons is a condiment. So I've got one condiment, two condiments. My third condiment is going to go on top of the pizza. It is one tablespoon of Parmesan cheese, which is half of the condiment and a quarter of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, which is another half a condiment. So those are my three condiments. Now I'm left with my lean. My lean is going to be a half of a lean is a half of a cup of reduced fat, low moisture, part skim mozzarella cheese. Six grams of fat or less makes a reduced fat cheese. So that's a half a cup is plenty for this pizza. It'll make it nice and cheesy. My other half a green is three ounces of turkey sausage, turkey Italian sausage, or you could use just ground pork or ground beef. Those are all in the leaner category. And even though this is a leaner, uh, because this is actually turkey uh, sausage, I am counting it as a lean instead just because of the seasonings and stuff in there. I'm not going to add any more fat to that. So I'm going to take my two tablespoons of marinara sauce. Again, this is my homemade marinara. Two tablespoons doesn't sound like a whole lot, but honestly, you do not need more than that on your pizza. You can see that two tablespoons covers very, very well. All right, got lots of nice sunlight happening this afternoon. 
The next thing I'm gonna do is put my cheese on top. And just kind of squish it out there. I wanna throw any cheese across the room. Have all that cheese. I've got the sausage that I'm gonna put on top of there. And if you think that this is not enough food, I'm telling you, it is so much food. I'm gonna be stuffed with this pizza. So the mushrooms go on. By the way, sauteing mushrooms, you do not need any oil um, or liquid or anything in the pan. Just cut up your mushrooms, you know, dice them up a little bit and put them in a saute pan, just a nonstick skillet and they will release their own liquid and that's what you want to do. Um, I will also say that I took a eight ounce package of mushrooms, cut it up and sauteed it and it ended up only weighing five ounces. So keep that in mind. If you are using cooked vegetables, if you're going to eat cooked vegetables, then weigh them cooked. Um, if you're making a casserole, a recipe, a soup, then you need to figure that your vegetables are going, going to shrink by at least 25%. So accommodate for that and add extra vegetables just to make sure that if you're weighing them, you know, if it's asking for two ounces of something, do two and a half ounces, and that will help to accommodate for the shrinkage. Here is my Parmesan cheese with pepper flakes. Try to sprinkle that around so I don't get red pepper flakes all in one bite. And I'm gonna throw this in the oven at 425 for about 10 to 12 minutes. And then I will come back and show you what this looks like when it's all done. I don't know why Friday nights to me just say pizza, but this pizza right here is going to be very filling. The thing with cauliflower crusts is that they're not overly firm, they're not crunchy, but, but it is enough so that I could pick up the piece and eat it with my hands, even with all of those toppings. So this mushroom and sausage pizza is going to be delicious for my lean and green tonight. You can mix up the toppings however you want. Because I don't put any lean in the crust, I get a whole lean on top. And as you saw, a half a cup of cheese is completely enough for this pizza. And you can then add in half of a lean of another kind of meat on top of there if you want to. You can make a salad on the side instead of doing greens and condiment on your pizza. So many ways that you can do this. I hope that you will experiment and explore. And until I see you next time, please live in the light. Thank you.